Okay, so I don't want to <laughs> dive too deeply into politics because, as I said earlier, um, you know, if we're, we're talking about Linux, then everybody should just stick with Linux. But the problem is, is that doesn't always happen, and so you got some people that, for their own, uh, they have a different perspective than I do. You know, I I'm not all that religious and there's some people that, that are religious and they feel that from their point of view out of good conscience that for the individual that they are dealing with these, these are the responsible ones I'm explaining about right now uh, they have to convince them not to be gay so they'll um, <laughs> so, so the individual will will um, be able to gain salvation, which is the end goal of Christianity, right? Well, I don't believe that, but they do. So, you might as well. Now, there's some people that are just absolutely irresponsible, and all they, all they know is they've heard that being gay is wrong, and so they make fun and laugh at people. Those people aren't very, whether they're religious or not, they're just people that are problematic anyway. And they're going to be problematic. And it's unfortunate. And they're going to be in every community. They're going to be the Windows community, they're going to be the Linux community, whatever. There's going to be a percentage of those people. You can't do anything about it. I mean, so going, leaving Linux and going to Windows isn't going to solve that problem. But, and then I guess I'll get in a little bit in this. I really don't really think I wanted to, but I guess, um, so what basis is there for Christianity to think that homosexuality, resu homosexuality results in a sin? Um, I haven't found anything specific that comes from something authoritative within the Bible that's anything of a higher level than the person that was the, at the, the the first person that was the head of the church at the time. But who's to say that that person speaks for God? You could say that, well, this guy knew what Jesus knew, so he's just applying what Jesus told him. Maybe, maybe not. It's conjecture. And so, and, and I know, frankly, that uh, even the whole issue of marriage itself is a because I've dealt with it, um, is a um, is a complicated issue. I mean, certainly in the Bible it says, uh, you know, adultery is, you know, don't commit adultery is one of the Ten Commandments. And there are, mer there, there is mention of wives in the Bible. There are even mentions of marriage ceremonies around the time of Jesus, but not before that. But marriage is pretty much a matter of almost common law. It depends on what country you're in. And, and my point is, is that there's no book in the Bible that you can open up and say, aha, this is, these are the rules we're supposed to follow when two people get married, this, that, the other, you can't point to it because there isn't any. And so that there, there is room for interpretation, but the way it's been interpreted almost universally among preachers, uh, at least in America today, is that you have to be legally married. Otherwise you are um, fornicating. Well, I argue that's not the case. You could <coughs> probably be a perfectly Bible-adhering Christian if you only had one sex partner your whole life. <laughs> it sounds kind of silly, but okay. So anyway, there's a misapp. To me, there's a misapplication of what the rules are on a mass scale. <laughs> okay, and I think the same thing is happening with homosexuality. Uh, there's certain people that ha that have taken or the mainstream take on what the rules are are out of line with 
the level of authority by which even this was even mentioned only once <laughs> you know, by Paul, a man shouldn't lie down with another man by you know the leader of the church, not not Jesus Christ or God. If it's not in the red letters in the New Testament, if it's not in the King James part, uh, if it's not the words of God in the, in the Old Testament. Certainly, there should be some questions whether your salvation is really at stake, and certainly there should never be any kind of. Um, and again, I'm, I'm talking from a Christian point of view, not my libertarian point of view, or it's, that's your life. Um, you know, um, there really is a pretty big question as to whether that would actually being homosexual, even, even being married as homosexual would have a have a, a, a concrete result in someone losing their salvation and their, and their only justification for even intruding upon your life and violating my, my own libertarian principle is their supposed concern for your, your salvation, you know. And there's only a small fraction of those people that actually are conscientious that way rather than just mean. Well, I learned somewhere that's bad, so let's make fun of them, you know. Or, you know, so, you know, and I don't know how deeply rooted Christianity is in in, in Australia. You know, this was a Puritan country, and you know, there, there's a lot of deep roots of um, religion in this country. And uh, so, you know, again, I'm also speaking from an American perspective. So, who knows? It may not apply. It may just be with individual opinions about it but again my my perspective is there's really anybody that's you know, intelligent way to approach other people's private lives so it's, it's to leave it alone and let them do what they want to do because it's their life they have to experience it it's your life to experience no one else's and uh, someday those people are going to something they'll, they'll want to do something with their lives that someone else will make fun of them for, and they'll, they'll, maybe they'll learn their lesson. But that, that is a lesson that, that we learned eventually by most people by the time they get to old age. So I'm going to stop there with that whole thing. Um, just say, you know, that, that's just the basic reason why if, there's, uh, if anybody hassles anybody for being gay, I, I'm the first to speak up and say, you know, it's just horse shit. <laughs> even though, even though uh, I'm perfectly straight. I mean, it's just, it's bottom line. It's, uh, your private life and you're to do with and I certainly uh, certainly there's got to be more than just me amongst the the Linux users out there that are they're absolutely um, supportive of, of your own personal choices and uh, it's the way we see it it's not nothing like uh, uh, we're, we're you, you, it's your life, you know. We're we're not, and it's we're not. I'm not saying that um, with a negative connotation. It's it's um, it's really right. It's really basic human right. That that's the most important. But other other than other than considering human rights, and just uh, thinking about things that I have nothing to do with, uh, namely other people's lives. Um, I shouldn't really have much concern about it unless I need help from other people, you know, or w w what they do. Like, you know. <laughs> so that's it. So I'll, I'll stop for now.